Hey, this is Johnson, and today we're going to be doing a quick review on some characters. Um, see. Um, boop. So, <clears throat> right here is the Iron Man. This is the comic book version of Iron Man. Um, let's go through his articulation, um, real quick. Let's set you up, okay. So, first is, his arms are a double-jointed, so you can pop it up like that, or if you just want to use one joint, pop it out like that. Um, his wrist moves all around, and forward, like that, and then backwards, or up and down, I guess, from the way I have it, um, like, like that. Um... He can move his arm right here, and then his arm can punch out about that far. Um, his head can look up about that far, down about that far. He moves his head from side to side, and all the way around. Um, he has ab crunch, um, so he can lean forward about that far. And lean back about this far. Um, then he's got these. He's got a little swivel right here. It's pivot. This is pivot. He's got pivot right here. And then he also has pivot right here. It's the more weirdest version of pivot. Um, then he has double jointed knees. So his knee can go in like that. And like that, if you just want to use one joint. And then he has a little ankle movement here, and pivot on the ankle. His ankle has some pivot. And yeah, that's uh, what Iron Man can move. So, and then here he has um, separate heads. He's got two separate heads. So let's pop those on. Um, first, let's get the angry Iron Man head on. This is what the angry Iron Man head looks like. Now let's get that on him. There it goes. There it is, boy. One sec. I got it. Didn't make it. Anyway, here it is. I don't know why there's an angry Iron Man face. I mean, this is the comic version. I haven't read the comics. Now let's get it on the Tony Stark head. And in three, two, Man, I love magic. Anyway, there it is. Um, he also has, uh, these hands right here. These, like, little blasting hands. So let's get these on. Three, two. Hey, okay. Three, two. Hit. Boosk. Okay, and that's what Iron Man looks like with all this. But he also comes with. These little blasty things. Boom. So uh, let, let me show you how these. So this can just kind of sort. Just got this little hole in there, and this has got like a little line right there. And they're gonna snap into each other. And you take it and you attach it straight to the hand, which also has a little hole in it. Right there. So just gonna. And I'll get in the other one. Here we go. They can also go into his feet. Anyway, let's display this guy right now. <clears throat> Iron Man is going to be displayed. Uh oh, hang on. I dropped these. Hang on. <clears throat> Next, we got Spud Man. So, uh, let's get in. So, here's what he looks like. Now let's get into his articulation. So his head can move up about, he can look up about this far. And he can look down about this far. And also he's got, all of them have this like little thing. You can pop the head forward or backward. It doesn't add much. Anyway, he's got this really weird like, shoulder pivot. You can't move it up, but just back and forth. Anyway, then you can move his actual shoulder forward and out. Well, then his, um, right here moves. Then he's double jointed in his elbow. And then he can just 
go normal like that. And then he's got a little bit of swivel right here. He's got an ab crunch. He's got this pivot. He's got this little swivel. He's double jointed in the knees as well. About that. He can kick out about this far. He's got um pivot in the foot and swivel right there. Yeah, so for his articulation, let's move into his accessories. He comes with a lot less stuff than Iron Man. Actually, the only thing he comes with is an extra set of hands. So let's pop these on. Uh, whoop, dropped it. Okay. And that's it. No, it doesn't come with any webs, and this is how it's going to be displayed up on my shelf. Now let's get to displaying. Just go, go! Almost fell. Okay. Plop him right up there. Hey! Ho! Let's go! Our final guy is Talos. So let's get into his articulation. Okay, so he's got head movement. He look over that far and down about this far. Um, his shoulder can move out about that far. And then it stays down. See, of course, this right here. Um, he's super double jointed. I mean, super double jointed. And then just a normal elbow bend. Tank so can move all the way around in a circle and move back and forth. Um, he's got an ab crunch. Um, he's got pivot. His leg kick forward about that far. Um, he's got this pivot here. He's double jointed in the knees. Um, and then he's got a little bit of bend right there and some pivot. Pivoted. And yeah, let's get into the accessory. At least Spider-Man came with his two accessories. He only comes with one. Spider-Man so came with his little two swooping hands. Iron Man came with two extra heads, blasters, and um, punchy hands. He just comes with a cloak. This thing's a pain to get on, but I think I can do it in camera. Um, it's a, you get a pop off his head. Then you're going to want to put his arm up. Unlace the little two. And then just slide his hand through his little armhole. Okay, this little part can be the difficult part. And then you're just gonna slide his head up through it till his neck comes through. And then just relatch it. And see so you're done with that. Just pop his head back on. There we go. Now we got Talos wearing his cloak. And really, this cloak does nothing. Actually, this cloak it um, immobilizes him, as now he no longer can, no longer has that ab crunch. Otherwise, this thing is gonna pop open. So, uh, yeah, I've been expecting you. Let's get to the display in. This, 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 this display. This, 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 this display. Displayed. I don't know any songs from that movie, but here's all three of them together. Anyway, that's it for the day, and as always, this is the Drummond Summon, signing off.